and doing things better was an invitation to all CBC employees to uh, uh, put forward ideas that would help us deal with the, with, the, with the budget situation, so save money, but also that would just help us do things better. The LED transition project was a project that um, was originally taken by one of my employees, who is the senior lighting director, Brad Dixon. I brought the concept of corporately going to LEDs to Hubert Lacroix, because on small projects all across CBC, we had been using LEDs. Productions had to bear the cost of buying the LEDs for their productions, and they were buying it for a variety of reasons, for creative reasons, for the economical reasons. But as a corporation, we didn't have a policy of going that way. I took it to Bear, and I'll never forget what he said to me. I'm going to give you a million dollars of our money to spend on this project. I need you to make sure that we deliver on the benefits and the savings. We pulled the project team together and we looked at studios across the country. On a rapidement formé un groupe d'experts sous le leadership de Benoît Trottier ici pour les services français. There was support for this kind of a project outside the CBC. There were organizations like BOMA, which actually uh, provided grants, there were provincial grants available, and there were a variety of other funding sources if we could demonstrate that we were actually going to be cutting our energy use. Au niveau uh, du gain énergétique, c'était un gain incroyable. On est parti uh, de quelques centaines de kilowattheures par année. On a diminué ça en bas de... Écoute, on a, on, on a à peu près 86 d'efficacité au niveau du LED. Alors, ça a été beaucoup. What this represents in terms of an improvement in our carbon footprint and the reduction in our overall impact in the environment is actually quite staggering. Assuming that the six studios were replaced with LED in entirety, uh, what we figured out is that this would am amount to about 450 tons of greenhouse gases. And what that means is like one ton is roughly equivalent to uh, four New York City buses. Ultimately, we invested in the, uh, the top five studios that had the highest use. Here in Toronto, uh, what that means is the national local studio um, was on a certain percentage of the time. News Network Studio, Studio 50, uh, that was also a very high use studio. We also chose another studio which wasn't necessarily the highest use, but had the poorest um, type of energy that was used uh, for it. So that's Yellowknife. Uh, on a decided, uh, de regarder l'ensemble des studios ici à Radio-Canada Montréal et lesquels de ces studios nous permettaient ou nous permettraient d'arriver à un meilleur résultat à long terme. Alors, on a ciblé le CDI parce que le CDI est le, le, les plateaux les plus utilisés ici à Montréal au niveau de la durée, au niveau quotidien. On a, une, on a sont allumés à peu près 14 heures par jour ces studios là. The technology wasn't quite where we thought it was. And we actually had to work very, very closely with the technology manufacturers to come up with uh, the right kind of instruments at the right price. Uh, au début, c'est un project uh, qui me laissait un peu sceptique dans le sens qu'il y a beaucoup d'engouement pour l'installation des, des lumières LED. De plus en plus, quand j'ai compris uh, les besoins uh, précis de, de Radio Canada pour les plateaux, uh, là, on voyait que la, la lampe LED nous donnait le résultat qu'on qu'on voulait et que la lampe fluorescent n'est pas n'a pas d'application dans dans cette situation. The fixture that we have here is actually a fixture that we retrofit at LED. Originally, it was a 1K to SISD Fresnel, and now we've turned it into an LED unit by taking up the Fresnel parts and replacing them with LEDs. Tandis que le LED, si on s'en va dans des équipements qui peuvent faire du RGB. Euh, on peut faire 16 millions de couleurs. Là. Tandis que la lampe au tungstène, pour obtenir ce genre de chromatie-là, euh, color mixing, il faut vraiment utiliser de la gélatine, la filtration couleur. Euh, Tous les euh, feedbacks qu'on a eus au niveau, euh, lorsqu'on a enlevé euh, les tungstènes et qu'on a mis du LED, étaient, on se situait surtout au niveau de la douceur d'éclairage pour euh, tout ce qui est le talent. Oh, les gens ont beaucoup apprécié ce nouvel environnement-là. Euh, ça crée un studio avec beaucoup moins de chaleur, beaucoup plus confortable comme environnement de travail. The other thing that's allowed uh, lighting directors and lighting technicians is a lot of creativity. Um, so this also makes good production and operation sense. 
So what we're showing here is just some of the creative ability that LEDs is essentially out of a single source, you can get multiple looks. We can change within that set, multiple colors, have totally different looks, so multiple shows can use the same set and essentially have a whole different look. And if need be, we can have a little bit of fun with it also. At the end of the day, this project is such a great demonstration of what can come. An employee suggestion carried forward. We've had a lot of other agencies come and take a look at what we're doing because there are obviously a number of other broadcasters who are either having moved into this realm or they're contemplating moving into this realm. The reality that CBC Radio Canada has once again uh, led the industry uh, and in many ways it's a role that we're uh, we've had traditionally over history, but it was nice to come to it in a new and fresh way. I think it speaks volumes to the type of organization this is, you know, that's taking responsibility not only for its legacy, but also for the health of its viewers and the environmental stewardship of this country. A whole bunch of positive changes made, made across the country, changes in terms of lowering our costs, changes in terms of increasing our sustainability, changes in terms of, of lowering our environmental impact, but perhaps even more fundamentally, changes in how we make television.